Hi guys, and welcome to Andy's Weird World. And today I thought I'd do something completely different. Ha, huh, I've heard that before. We're in Sydney, and we're gonna do a little ghost tour. And welcome back. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do um, a, a thing a bit different. We're doing actually a ghost tour. Now, um, we're going to start off actually at the River Ouse. Right, where I'm standing at the moment uh, is in uh, Jubilee Gardens, which in fact is right next to the river, the other side of the, uh, the park, which is over there. And we're next to the bridge. Now, this is a new bridge here. It's been here now for about oh, maybe 40 years or so. It was built in the, uh, in the 60s. And uh, before that, it was an old bridge that looked a bit like the one you get at... Um, uh, St. Ives and uh, there were many many people who committed suicide jumped off the bridge so there is rumours that there's you know a few ghosts around here right gonna continue my little walk of this little ghost tour of St. Nets and uh, I'm gonna take you to um, where often a monk is seen Well, we're walking past the Bridge Hotel now. That's just next to, well, very near the Priory. Now you think, oh yeah, Priory, bound to be ghosts. But um, we're not actually going to go to to that Priory. Now I know you're thinking, what? Wait, Rose. Well, this is the place where the original. Sydney, it's Priory was, and that was just here, actually in the car park. And also, if you've seen my videos before, there's a tunnel under here that goes to Priory Park as well. So here it is, where the old Priory used to be, at the Waitrose car park. And they say, sometimes, on a very still night, you can hear... You can hear the monks, and they're actually, there's a rumour, there is one that runs around here. Now, I must admit, I've never seen it, but um, that's what the rumour is. Okay, we'll continue our little tour. We're going to walk past um, Waste Roads and head towards New Street. We're going to actually walk past the Pig and Fountain, and uh, this is a, a pub that plays a lot of music. And uh, well, because of the lockdown situation over here, there's not much music being played at the moment. But hopefully, they'll have the bands around soon. So here we are. We're in New Street, and um, well, let me show you where another famous lot of ghosts are. Yep, here it is. This is now Sydney's museum, but it is very well known for ghosts. Now, it used to be a police station, a magistrate's court, and also um, some small jails. So when you're waiting to go to see the magistrate, you're locked in there. Well, this cell block was built in 1907. And actually the prisoners here were very lucky actually because they did have plumbing, even though the toilet was actually outside in the, um, uh, in the, in the, in the yard at the back, but they, they were very, very lucky. Now there's a few little stories about that happened, about this place as well. Now they actually sang in the jail that um, sometimes you hear a knocking on the different cells. And uh, if you go into the next cell, there's nothing there. So that's a little bit eerie. There's also another rumour of a little girl's boot that moves around and around. Right, we're heading back to the high street here in Sydney. Now, if you're a pub grower, a pub goer, should I say, um, you would um, probably go to this pub quite often 
Uh, it's called the, uh, the, the Coach House. Originally, this pub was called the New Inn, and this is where the Earl of Holland hid from the, um, the Roundheads. So, when the Earl of Holland was actually caught, um, he was then taken down to London, to the Tower of London, and uh, that's where they cut his head off. So, as I said, there's a rumour, a man with a long, long ankle coat hangs around there in the bar. Well, continuing our walk down the high street here in St. Nairs on our little ghost tour. And here we are, number 38, High Street. Yep, number 38, High Street, Halifax. And before that, it was called the Royal Oak. And uh, yes, it used to be a pub. And uh, the thing is there, they say there's always a bad, bad smell. And actually, so what I read, I did an exorcism on the place to try to get rid of the smell. Um, they say that actually um, the smell was nearly gone. It comes back occasionally. But uh, anyway, let's go to our next venue where the ghost could be. In, it, in St. Mary's, a very imposing church. So, St. Mary's Church. I haven't really heard of any ghosts being here, but I wouldn't like to be uh, in the graveyard at midnight going around some graves anti clockwise because it might bring something up. Anyway, let's continue. A little walk of the ghosts in St. Mary's. So I'm actually walking down St. Mary Street here in Ainsbury, which is right next to St. Mary's. And um, I'm walking past the pub, and it's called the Checkers Inn. Well, the rumour is that uh, in uh, well, 1853, a lady fell down the stairs down here. She'd been blind all her life. And um, she was so grateful that when she landed, well, she was grateful. when she landed, her sight came back. And uh, since then, when she passed away, she's haunted the pub in gratitude, falling down the stairs and getting her sight back. So that's my, my little uh, ghost walk of St. Nets and a little bit of Ainsbury. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very, very much for watching. Don't forget, um, if you want to uh, leave a comment, that would be fantastic. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. So once again, to Sandy saying thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you a little bit later. Bye for now. Oh, look at that. A whole lot of bicycles.